Hello, this is Dennis Fisher. One thing we've seen develop recently is we've seen some brown patches uh, in some of our fields. Not all the fields, but some fields of Delco also brown patches where you can see from the road that we're seeing some necrotic tissue and something going on. Quite often the first thing we think of is leaf spot, um, but in order to know if that's the case, we need to do a little closer inspection. So you can see here we got a green area here, some browner areas here, and then if you look out across the field, there's some other bigger browner patches. And quite often we'll just attribute that, oh, we're getting some leaf spot. It looks like uh, things are starting to burn down, but that's not always the case. So when we, when we look at these leaves, you can see that we got some brown necrotic tissue. The lower leaves are dying off. Uh, and although that can be a symptom of leaf spot, in this situation is not. So generally if we see leaf, if it's leaf spot causing these necrotic regions where, where uh, the spots start to merge together, we can still see some remnants of the, of the spot, the original spots, but we can't see that here. And this is really more of a brown color, generally leaf spot in both Circospora and Alton area, it seems like they'll be a little darker, a little more black, and this is a little more brown. So it's likely not leaf spot causing these issues. Um, the other thing we wanna look at though is, you know, is it just water damage or lack of water? We've been through some hot, dry conditions or is there something else going on below ground? So I dug out some roots. Um, once again, you can see we got the same symptoms, dry, lower leaves, the new growth looks pretty green and healthy. Um, so things are looking good now. If you look at the root, there's no diseases, there's no root aphids, there's no nematodes. So it doesn't look like anything else is contributing to um, this damage other than the lack of water and the hot, dry weather. So it obviously hurts some yield having that those conditions, but now with the um, recent rain we've got, we're gonna see some new growth and these should grow right back out of it. Fortunately, it's not leaf spot. Not that it can't be, quite often we'll see more leaf spot, um, especially alternate area when we get beets that are stressed due to water, or lack of water, leaves lay in the ground, they can pick up some alternate area. But for the majority of it this year, that's not what we're seeing going on. It's really just losing some of those leaves due to the lack of moisture.